I want to make a quick video for you guys talking about the top five ways to boost your immune system, not just by washing your hands. So real quick, I want to talk about zinc, the powers of zinc and the studies being done to protect your family, as well as probiotics, vitamin C with bioflavonoids, and I'll get into what those are, as well as sleep and fasting, which is a little bit weird, but I'll break it down um, and all the new research coming out for that. And then real quick bonus, um, if you guys are taking the NCLEX um, anytime soon, the NCSBN has actually opened up testing sites, but they've actually decreased the number of questions and the duration for the exam. So instead of being able to take up to six hours and do 265 questions, now they've whittled it down to only 130 questions maximum four hours. They're doing this to decrease the population size uh, of people taking the exam and so that they can stack two sessions in one day and get more students involved. So let me know what you guys think about that. And to help you uh, with the NCLEX, we're starting a new quarantine challenge. You can get free access to all of our 1500 NCLEX questions in our new app. And we have rewards rolling out weekly if you take the NCLEX challenge, which is completely free to do. So we're talking free seven day access for you guys to get prepared, take our NCLEX challenge and you can get free stuff and we have new rewards weekly. All right, so you simply go to simplenursing.com forward slash free. The link is in the bio. Simply press the get started tab. Now let me walk you through this real quick. It's going to ask for a coupon code. You just click next. You fill out your information. We definitely need your email address. And then very last, it's just going to say $0 so you can sign up for free for seven days. Now, once you place the order, you're going to get two emails. One that looks like this just says, thank you for the order. Obviously zero bucks. And then the second one, this one comes in about four to five minutes. Guys, check your spam. What we're looking for here is the username and password. So you simply go download the Simple Nursing app in the App Store for Android or iPhone. And then your username and password, you can simply log in. Now, if you have any questions, guys, please email us. Please call us. Let us know if you need help. Now, the second big news for nurses who obviously don't need to take their NCLEX anymore. If you are an emergency room nurse, I'm talking to you, which I used to be. I know that your hospital probably ran out or is running out of N95 masks. So I was driving and I heard over the radio that Harbor Freight and Tool is giving free N95 masks. And I'm reading from their website here. Uh, to emergency rooms, not just nurses, but anyone in the emergency room or acute care. It has to be 24-hour emergency rooms. So the radio announcement said that you can just fill out this form and get a free N95. I'm not sure if it's a pellet or if it's a shipment. Don't really know. But I know that it's for free and it's for emergency room nurses. So if you're an emergency room nurse, if you know an emergency room nurse, um, I don't know if it's for urgent cares and I don't think it's for ICU nurses, but I'm going to leave the link and down below in the description. All right. So let's get into it. The top five ways. My biggest go-to is number one, zinc. Now, a lot of people overlook zinc and go straight to vitamin C to not get sick. But I think most powerfully to prevent getting sick, I call zinc the link in your defense system basically your shield. So I posted a lot about this on Instagram, but basically zinc makes your cells kind of like Teflon. So no bacteria, no viruses, no infection can stick to your cells. And so obviously if nothing can stick to your cells, you can't get sick and the sickness can't incubate. Now there's no direct studies directly on coronavirus, but the concept's true with the flu as well as most common sicknesses. So obviously the coronavirus is there's COVID-19 is so new, so there's not going to be a lot of uh, research. But I did some research and some digging because a lot of people wanted evidence-based and I found some things and some articles from the National Institute of Health 
that talk about using zinc and um, basically zinc lozenges as well as zinc nasal swabs to decrease the common cold. Um, and there was also some stuff about the doses um, for adults as well as pediatrics. So guys, protect yourself. I know that I have some zinc. It's not right here, but I have some zinc and at like CVS or Walgreens, it's like 40 milligrams, which is like apparently like three or four times the dose that you really need um, to overdose on zinc, which you probably need to be taking at least 500 to 1500 milligrams is what I researched. That's basically 10 to 30 pills of zinc would end up in zinc toxicity. So the average dose that they recommended was um, anywhere between 9 to 11 milligrams for an adult and for pediatrics for your kids to keep them safe. Um, under 8 years old was 5 milligrams and over 8 was around 8 to 10 milligrams. So again, I'll post the link so you guys can get all the information. Now, if you don't like taking vitamins, they say that the food that had the highest amount of zinc was oysters, for some odd reason, that was cooked, um, breaded, or fried. The second next best was beef. They call it beef chuck roast. And then the third was crab. But oysters, apparently it gave you like 74 milligrams of zinc. So there you go. Oh, and then the very last thing, guys. I recommend, I've, I've been doing this myself for years. Every time I go on a plane, I take zinc just to protect myself. Um, just because, especially in a plane, everyone breathes the same air. And all that air is recirculating. That's why I never turn the air vents on because all that air is being pushed in your face. So, um, always make sure to eat before you take zinc or else you're going to throw up. <laughs> I've done that twice and I never made the mistake again. So, make sure you eat because, um, yeah, it's pretty bad. And then the second thing about zinc is uh, make sure you take it every single day, guys. So, if you get like a 40 to 50 milligram pill, you can cut it in half. You can take the whole thing. It's not really going to do anything. Just don't obviously take 10 pills in one day. But um, consistency is key every single day. If you miss a day, uh, it's not going to be good. You're basically leaving gaps in your armor there. Okay. Tip number two is probiotics. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but um, probiotics inside of your gut, those are the friendly bacteria, right? Um, the antibiotics that kill off ba uh, the bad bacteria and bad infections are basically antibiotics. They're the antibacteria that are inside your gut. So that's why they always say take good probiotics like your cult or the more powerful ones that come in pill form at like Whole Foods or Trader Joe's or your local grocery store. The reason why I'm saying to take probiotics is because the gut holds the majority of your immune system. And a lot of people don't know that. So a lot of people get sick because they'll have diarrhea or they'll have something, let's just say like a stomach bug, right? Um, and it causes diarrhea. And basically all of your probiotics are pretty much in the toilet from the body into the body, right? So all your defense systems are down, leaving you open to um, basically get an infection. So Dr. Rhonda Patrick and even the CDC online both say that probiotics are good, especially to keep yourself protected from colds, as well as upper respiratory tract infections, which we obviously know that the coronavirus uh, attacks the respiratory tract. So it says that it can lower the duration of the illness as well as um, the duration of the cold. It says that the evidence is very, very low, but apparently Dr. Rhonda Patrick, um, she swears by it and I pretty much trust her a lot. Okay, number three, vitamin C with bioflavonoids. Now, a lot of people are like, what the heck are bioflavonoids, right? 
So bioflavonoids are the thing inside of a whole food supplement. So they're basically the, the phytonutrients around the vitamin. So if you can think of vitamin C as like a diamond on top of a ring, really the, the thing holding the prongs, we can call it, holding that diamond up are the bioflavonoids. If you take the bioflavonoids out and just have the vitamin C, it's not going to break down the body. So that's why when people take the one-a-days or people take the Vita gummies without the bioflavonoids, the body just poops it out. You're just having like expensive poop. You're not really absorbing anything. So guys, that's why if you're going to buy vitamin C, look on the label and see if it says with bioflavonoids. And if you can even turn it around and see if inside one of the active ingredients is rose hips. So I'm going to leave a link to the study to show evidence-based, but guys, this is just common knowledge with a lot of like personal trainers as well as nutritionists, which I used to be before I got into nursing. So I used to swear by this big time. All right. Number four, sleep. Now, if you guys are probably laughing at this, right? Because if you're a nursing student, you're like, sleep? What the heck is sleep? Even nurses, right? So guys, sleep is one of the most powerful, I would say the single most powerful, it probably should have been number one above zinc, but we're talking about protection here. So guys, sleep is one of the biggest things to boost and maintain your immune system. Studies have shown that even if you're getting less than three to four hours of sleep, like per night, on the third day of doing something like that, you actually start showing signs and symptoms of mental illness. Now, doesn't mean you have mental illness, but you're showing signs and symptoms that relate to like mental illness, like depression, as well as even some delirium. So guys, sleep, you should be getting at least, they say at least seven and a half hours of sleep per night. Now, sometimes we do six, sometimes you do, I've done a, actually all the way up to 12, which is really awesome. But the therapeutic range is anywhere between 7.5 to 9 hours of sleep per night. And the other thing about zinc, I'm sorry, about sleep, is that Dr. Oz says that every hour before midnight um, counts as double in terms of quality REM sleep. So, for example, if you go to bed at 9 o'clock and... You basically have three hours before midnight. You're kind of getting double the amount of time of REM sleep if you went to bed at midnight or at one o'clock. Now, I'm not exactly sure about the validity of this. I just saw Dr. Oz commenting about that. Okay, last things last. Probably the weirdest thing and most strange that you've probably never heard of. Number five is the fasting one. Again, it's really weird, but listen real close. So... If you are sick and everyone's getting scared about getting the coronavirus and everyone's like, oh man, do I have it? Is it allergies? Is it, I don't know what it is. So before you freak yourself out, just listen up. I heard about um, fasting every other day. Now I already do intermittent fasting. I basically skip breakfast. I've done um, three day fasts like once a month. I did it for six months last year. But this is really different. So there's a theory out there that says if you get sick or start coming on to the signs and symptoms of having phlegm or productive cough or like that green mucus, and you can just feel like you're getting sick. So within the first 48 hours, they recommend that you eat one meal every other day for three days. So basically you're having like one meal, let's say it's Monday, you skip a meal, I'm sorry, let me start over. You have one meal on Monday, your next meal would be on Wednesday, and then the last meal would be on Friday. So you're skipping every other day and having one meal per day. Now I'm probably totally butchering that, but that's what I did. And I was following the plant paradox as well as Dr. Rhonda Patrick, who talks a lot about uh, the benefits of fasting as well as sauna therapy. But specifically in the plant paradox, they talk about having one meal every other day at the first onset of any type of symptoms, and especially the coronavirus or not, 
So again, I personally did it last year. I felt like crap, <laughs> and to be honest, for the first 72 hours. But boom, like it was gone in the, like the third day. I don't know how to explain it. Um, I think in the plant paradox, the guy was talking about the patho of it all was that you're kind of starving the nutrients that the infection or the illness needs to survive on the host. I don't know the patho of it yet. I can research that for you guys. But if you guys know, please leave it in the comments below. Um, if you guys think that's total hogwash, I don't know. I, I did it and it actually worked. I usually, when I do get sick, I'll be sick for like a week or so. But I'm, I swear by it, like the third or fourth day, it was gone for me. Now, I don't know if it's going to happen with the coronavirus. I'm just saying that that's just a way you can utilize in your tool belt of protecting yourself. Okay, last one. Bonus point number six. No NSAIDs. So I'm reading here that NSAIDs will actually make coronavirus symptoms, COVID-19, 10 times worse. So... I'm thinking if you guys have coronavirus or not, if you get sick during this quarantine time, it's probably a safe bet not to do NSAIDs. So no ibuprofen, no Advil, no Aleve, no even aspirin or salicylate or salicylic acid. So according to studies, Tylenol is okay. And I'm going to leave a link that the FDA.gov talks all about this. And it's based on studies done in... Um, Canada and France since apparently they first found out about this that it makes the symptoms of coronavirus like 10 times worse so guys educate your family educate your friends hopefully these top five tips have helped you out just a little bit and once again if you're a nursing student that just graduated and is going to be taking the NCLEX but obviously you have to wait because of this quarantine time well, then take our quarantine challenge. You guys can get seven days of free access to our new NCLEX app. And if you complete our quarantine challenge, then you can get a free reward. And the rewards are becoming new every single week. And we're just trying to make this time fun. So it's just a way that, you know, we can give back to you guys as a community and really just engage you and just kind of just take advantage of making this entire process fun, just making it better. And lastly, again, if you're an emergency room nurse or if you know an ER nurse, please tell them about the free N95 masks that are being given away by Harbor Freight and Tool. And again, I will leave the link down below. All right, guys, that is it. In the next video, I'm going to be talking about the new drugs that shows promising for battling the coronavirus. All right, guys, don't be scared. Be prepared.